It is Palm Sunday, and all four Gospels have an account of Jesus riding a donkey or a colt or some kind of lowly animal into Jerusalem. And they have an account of people cutting branches and using those branches to kind of throw down in front of him and wave, and it's during the festival of the booths. And um, they sing Hosanna, which is in our communion liturgy as United Methodists. It's in the Catholic communion liturgy. It's a very uh, important part. I think it's called the Sanctus. And it's used, uh, that phrase, the Hosanna in the highest, um, is used uh, communion. And this is the Sunday where we celebrate Jesus riding into Jerusalem. One of the things that I don't even really have worked out in my head, but I find fascinating, is that in this scripture, people are, you know, using palm branches. And there is only one other time in the New Testament where people are waving palm branches. And it is in Revelation 7, during John's vision. There are these people who, uh, uh, it says, Then suddenly I looked and there was a multitude from every nation, every race, all people, all over creation. There is this group of people who are waving palm branches and praising at the very throne of God. And um, that's the only other section in the New Testament, besides the four Gospels and this particular story of Jesus riding into Jerusalem, where we get that. And I just, I don't even really know what to make of it, but I find it fascinating that it's almost like Christ's death and resurrection and ascension and a kind of apocalyptic imagination of what the kingdom of God looks like, that palm branches bookend that thing. Um, as if somehow, and we do it like we do it in church, that the children wave these palm branches. And we think in the very end, before the throne of God, the way in which we describe our sort of new heaven and new earth, the kingdom of God, is that people from all places, all races, all nations, all kinds of people, in the end, will wave the palm branches before the throne of God. I think that's really, really cool. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.